Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, today, um, I'm making a sauce video. Uh, I'm going to go over how to make uh, these three sauces. Um, I got my ribby sauce, which is just like a, a rib glaze and a rib sauce that I use for my ribs. I got my joss, which is just a regular sauce. So it's just like, like you could put it on the table, you could put it in chopped beef, it's good on brisket. It's just a regular barbecue sauce, good on pretty much everything. Uh, and then I have my jerfy sauce, which is uh, a coffee sauce. So um, basically, I'm just going to make them, show you how I do it. They're all super, super simple. So um, I think it'll be a lot of fun. And so let's do it. And this is the rib glaze um, or the ribby. This is the ribby sauce. You got to call it ribby sauce if you make it. Um, they're all going to start with two cups ketchup. And then um, we got a cup of white vinegar. And then a cup of apple cider vinegar. I like to just mix and match right there. Um, let's see. Brown sugar, one cup. Um, looks like a little bit more than a cup, but it's all good. It's all good. And I don't really cook it or anything. I like with the sugars, I just kind of just pop them up and stir them in real good. I mean, I don't really notice the difference. So uh, I'm not going to do it. Here is uh, the mushroom soy sauce. Um, it's good stuff. Really, really good stuff. It's kind of my uh, unique ingredient that I use in all my sauces. Um, it's super important for the coffee sauce, but for these other ones, I think it just adds like, well, it adds color for sure because it's super dark. And then uh, it adds a lot of good flavor. Like a, a, it, it does taste pretty good, but I only use a little bit in all these sauces pretty much. Only a little bit because it's, it's really strong. But And the color is 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 really uh, deep too. Like it, it'll turn your sauce a completely different color. Just a little bit of it. And then I got the molasses, just a little bit as well. I don't really like the flavor of molasses. That's just kind of like the, the texture of it. I kind of want them. I kind of like how it sits on the uh, ribs. So that's why I add a little bit in there. <coughs> Definitely don't want to add a lot of molasses either. Um, molasses is, is, is kind of bitter. It's kind of not good, but I like the texture, and it, it, I, I use it only a little bit. So here's my core spices. Y'all can use whatever spices y'all want, but I always use uh, garlic, onion, cumin, and pepper. And I do a tablespoon of each of those. Um, those are just kind of basic sauces, I, I think, or spices. I think uh, they kind of show up the best in a sauce, so I kind of just use them. I mean, I'm not going to put anything in there that I don't think I'm going to taste or makes a, a big difference. So um, these are all pretty basic sauces. and and But I think if you make it and you use it, I think you'll really, really like it. And then I think, uh, you know, add your, uh, add your own, you know, little secret flair or whatever, um, like I do with the mushroom soy sauce. Um, you can make all these sauces without the mushroom soy sauce, except, like I said, except for the coffee sauce. Um, and you have to use this one, this mushroom soy sauce as well. Because other mushroom soy sauces won't make it that color pretty much. So I'm filling this bottle. Um, I think this this amount is good for like, I mean, in the bottle, that's probably good for like four racks of ribs. Uh, the total, probably like eight racks of ribs. But uh, I like to glaze them on the pit with this sauce. And then when I wrap in the foil with this sauce, I add a little bit of water. And it kind of thins the sauce out. Um, because it's a little bit too thick to just wrap with. And let's go to the next one. So we're looking at um, two cups of ketchup. This is the uh, regular like table sauce, um, like brisket sauce, like a normal a normal barbecue sauce. Basically, um, it's just a, a good like basic sauce. I mean, you, that you can add any, any, to anything. Like, a, and I got this honey. Um, I think I skipped most of this because it takes forever for this honey to come out. But it's one cup of honey. Yeah, one. Uh, yeah. Okay, skip that. Um, okay. Let's see. Yep, got that mushroom soy sauce again. It does add, it does, I mean, it does make a difference. Like, as far as flavor goes, like, it is, it is really, really salty. Like, I mean, it is. It makes the sauce like popping. It's my favorite. It's my like secret ingredient or whatever. So, um, but I think you have to order online, like Amazon or whatever. But yeah, like I said, I got the spices again. That was pepper, um, garlic or onion, one of those. 
Yeah, it's a perfect tablespoon. Don't worry about it. That's pretty much how I just do do stuff. Like, ah, just pop it in there. It'll be good. Um, I think I remember making it wrong. Let me see. I think it looks too thick. And then I'm like, what did I do? And then I look back. Let me see. I, yeah, yeah. I forgot the vinegar. Forgot the vinegar. One one cup white vinegar. There you go. Um, that's the texture I'm looking for. So mix, mix, mix. It's like a light brown, red, or whatever. Um, but this is a really, really good like chopped beef sauce, brisket sauce, anything sauce. This is kind of like you can put it on, pop it on anything, and it'll be good. It's like a, a, your classic sauce. So um, definitely a good base for y'all. Um, I, I literally will, will use this sauce, but um, like if you want to do, you want to add like some more spices, you want to add um, some more mustard, ketchup, vinegar, anything, make it tangier, whatever. Um, the honey kind of takes care of the sweetness, um, but honey's kind of expensive, so you could kind of, you could probably substitute it out with like some sugar or brown sugar or something like that. Um, so that's it. I mean, that's it on that sauce. Um, sorry, I'm doing like a voiceover and but let me see where are we okay on to the coffee sauce uh two cups ketchup they're all two cups ketchup um this coffee sauce is good for a table sauce as well um or it's just kind of a unique sauce um that you could use uh you could it's also good for chopped beef it actually really really goes well with chopped beef if you want to make a chopped beef sandwich using this sauce, um, you could totally do that. It's really, really good. Um, so I got my two cups ketchup. I got my one cup vinegar. Um, one cup apple cider. Like I said, I just like to mix those a little bit. Um, brown sugar. It has to be brown sugar next. Yep. Um. Okay, there we go. No, not quite. Not quite. Oh. Uh. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice. I got it. I got it. I did it. So pop that in there. Like I said, I don't really cook it or melt it or anything. I just kind of pop it in there, mix it up real good at the end. Um. If y'all notice a difference, let me know. I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll cook it. I, re I just literally, um, I mean, I'm just kind of lazy, honestly. It just kind of tastes the same to me. So, um, you know, why dirty up a pot? Uh, so this is mushroom soy sauce. Like I said, do not use a different mushroom soy sauce. It has to be this brand of soy sauce. Um, do not try a different one. It will not come out this color. If you want it to be dark, you're gonna have to use this brand, and you're gonna have to order it online, most likely. I could not find it anywhere. And I did try to use a different one, but it comes out dark red instead of like like black. So, um, so I got my spices, onion, garlic. I don't think I put any pepper in here. Yeah, I don't put any pepper or cumin. It's just the onion and garlic for this one. But, uh, but yeah, that's what I mean. That's like I said, all three of these sauces are super simple, but um, they're all really, really flavorful. That's the main thing. You just want a whole lot of flavor. And don't forget the coffee. Obviously, I think that. So that was the coffee, mix, mix, mix. That was just a quarter cup of coffee in there, or uh, espresso. I think I got five shots of espresso, and that was good for a half cup. I think I pour a little bit more in because it like the longer it sits, the more it'll taste like coffee. But I wanted it kind of taste like coffee right away. So yeah, I try it. Didn't taste. Oh, never mind. So I'm gonna pour that in. Nice, like super good. I don't know why it just looks kind of looks kind of nice and that's that that's the espresso sauce like I said if you want it to look dark you're gonna have to get that soy sauce I put it in all three sauces that's kind of my thing so there we go all right that's it for the uh, for the video um, let me know comment if you have any questions uh, like and subscribe if you liked it um, if you want to come by Goldie's and get some, get one of these sauces, let me know. Uh, if you want me to ship you one of these sauces, let me know if you're really interested. Um, but I mean, they are really simple. It's probably about the same price to buy them from me or buy them from the store or make them yourself. 
Um, so just let me know. Um, and thank y'all so much for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you.